Ancestors. Sup, y'all? Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. You know what you guys got going on? A lot of you, a lot of you in LA, all of California, are always trying to invest in out of state real estate because, well, investing in California, kind of like, I don't know, getting kicked in the nuts by an alpaca, man. Jeez, woof. If it ain't the housing prices, it's the wild liberal laws. Oh, man. What to do if you live in L.A. like my client? Well, you invest where the money makes sense, where the laws make sense, and I help you do that with a full slew of turnkey services at your disposal. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, today I have the privilege of working my guy, Wiley, investor from L.A., Wiley's sick of the high prices, he's sick of the crazy laws, so he's like, yo, Jay Wise, hook me up, where do the properties make sense? So I'm helping him invest in one of the best cash flow markets ever, right? Northeast Ohio. Now, here's the thing. I do it a little differently, though. I'm not just a turnkey provider who sells you stuff I already own. That means our interests are not aligned, right? I work for you. I make you guys personalized videos like this one, and I'm going to go over a property for you, Wiley, in a second. Everybody else, if you like what you see, you want to invest out of state, and you want somebody on the ground who's in your corner, like myself, below the show, fill out the info, book a free call with my team. Let's jump into the numbers on this deal right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this deal, I like this deal. Ish, right? I like some things about this deal. I dislike some other things, right? As far as the property goes, it's beautiful. Very nice house. Uh, it, it's, it's like a very well done reno, right? All right, I dig it. Okay, look at this nice tiled shower. That's badass. One of the nicer kitchens you're going to see in one of these rental neighborhoods, right? It's very, very nice, right? And you want to make your rentals as nice as possible, honestly. A, you get higher rent, but that's not even really the big thing. The big thing is you get tenants that stay there longer. And you want to reduce turnovers as much as you can. And having a badass bathroom like this, I mean, that, that's going to keep people in your units, right? Nice kitchen. If you do, like, just the minimum, people are going to live there long. And, oh, you know, I kind of like that. I like how they did that towel bar. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice wide towel bar like that. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've actually seen anybody do something like that. Honestly, that looks like a shower curtain, like a shower rod, like a towel rod that goes in your bathroom, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I've never seen somebody do that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I do dig it. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's got, like, an industrial feel. But anyway, here's the units. They look nice, right? And also down here, what you see, something that really matters, uh, like big time, long term. Looks like you got all brand new mechanicals. New furnace, two new hot water tanks. Looks like the other furnace, super shiny. Everything should be new. That's a lot of money down there, right? Furnaces, about three, three, thirty-five hundred, right? So you're looking at you know, about seven Gs. Hot water tanks, you can tack on another thousand, fifteen hundred ish, twelve hundred ish, right? It's COVID, it goes up. Then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes up, then it goes up, all right? Supply pricing is a little jacked, right, in America, I'm sure. Uh, my investors out there who are actually already in the business know this. Uh, but anyway, you got about $10,000 worth of brand new mechanicals down there, right? Uh, those furnaces are going to last 30 years. Hot water tanks are going to last about 15. So that's big, right? So I like that, and I love the fact that they did the unit very, very nice. Both units are very, very nice. As far as the neighborhood, it's like a high C, low B grade area. Maple Heights, nice suburb in the Cleveland area. 5175 Miller Ave is the address okay i like all that love the property love the mechanicals love what they did on the inside that's going to keep butts in your units for a very long time and they're getting close to market rents right uh one unit's paying eight the other's paying 850 
But market rent for units this nice, you're looking at $875 a pop, right? So $1750, $21 for the year. After running your typical fixed and variable expense estimates, having my team manage everything for you, so it's 100% passive for my out-of-state folks, uh, you're looking at uh, NOI just under nine grand a year. Now, all that's good, all that's great, nice deal. This is what gets to me the thing that I don't like about this deal. I don't like the price, dude. 150K, yeah, it's cool, it's nice, it's good. It's not 150K good, man, no. It's too much of a premium, sellers asking too much. I think the deal will be a great deal, it will make a lot of sense if you could pick it up at 125. At 125, you put down 31 and a quarter, bank kicks in 93 and three quarters, should pencil out to about a 13 and a half percent cash on cash return. Nice, stable investment. Don't have to spend a lot of money on CapEx in the future, in the near future rather. So honestly, that cash and cash return might, you probably will exceed that. Because if you look back to the chart, folks, I got 1050 That's actual money that goes in your pocket. But I got you saving that for CapEx. But it doesn't look like you're going to have any CapEx anytime soon. So the deal, super good. But I do believe it's overpriced at 150 So I think if we could uh, get in there, try to beat the sellers up a little bit, get it down to 125 this one is a banger. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.